I may be an enigma, but I really don't like it when other people snoop through my things. This is as true now as it was when I was fighting to keep my younger brother out of my Lego collection, but it's especially the case when it comes to things like my tax returns, my photo collection, or secret love letters I wrote in the 11th grade. These things are very important to me, and they're all stored on this very fragile laptop. So I'm increasingly faced with a conundrum. I need to protect my extremely important data, but I need to do it in a way that no one but me can ever access it. That is where backup encryption comes in. Let's talk about it. The goal of encryption is to make it so that even if someone else has physical access to your data, they can't access the meaning contained within it. It's the data equivalent of the secret language that you had with your siblings to prevent your parents from understanding what you were saying to each other. They could hear it, but they had no idea what you were saying. Theoretically. Encryption has become particularly important with the advent of cloud computing, where your data is stored on devices entirely in the control of unknown other people. We have a whole video about cloud encryption, which includes an explanation of what encryption is. So, for a deeper dive, check that out. Once you understand encryption and cloud encryption, backup encryption is pretty self-explanatory. It's encrypting the backup copies of your files. But when it comes to backup encryption, there are three things that you should be thinking about. Number one, make sure your backup is encrypted with a modern, complex encryption algorithm. Number two, make sure that your backup is encrypted before it leaves your device. And number three, make sure that your encryption key is in a place that only you can access. When we're talking about item number one on our list, Almost every single backup solution you will find at this point should do this. The Advanced Encryption Standard, or AES, has been the standard for over a decade at this point, and nearly everyone has adopted it to some extent. However, something to consider alongside, is my data encrypted, is does this solution use the same type of encryption for all backup destinations? If you find a solution that allows you to back up to external media with the same level of security as when you're backing up to the cloud, you'll be in a great place. Number two on our list of backup encryption considerations is to choose a backup solution that encrypts your data before it leaves the laptop or desktop that stores the primary copy of your data. Many solutions will upload the raw file inside of a temporary transport layer encryption tunnel and then perform any encryption that may happen to the file itself in the cloud directly. This is less secure and allows for the backup provider to perform additional types of analysis and processing on the data that you send them. The more secure method of backup encryption is to send your data to the backup location pre-encrypted, meaning that no one not even the cloud provider can access it without decrypting it first. For our final backup encryption tip, I want to encourage you to choose a solution that will allow you to protect your encryption key in a way that only you can access. While there are a bunch of solutions out there that will say your data is encrypted in transit and at rest, that's not particularly helpful or secure if the provider can unilaterally access your data. Basically, what good is having a key if everybody has a copy of that key and can just unlock your front door at their leisure? Security-focused backup providers will allow you to protect your encryption key and make it so that only you can access the data that's stored with it. There's a lot that people will tell you about good ways to protect your data. But if you find a solution that meets all three of those criteria, you'll be able to sleep easy knowing that your data is safe, and secure. Learn more about backup encryption and a couple software solutions that can meet all your encrypty needs at the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, I'm going to try and figure out a way to encrypt my Lego collection. Cheers. Cheers.